The floods came in July. There was unprecedented destruction. 20 million people were affected. 1.2 million homes were lost. There are still 6 million homeless. Crops were wiped out. Livestock perished. Desperation stopped the land. The representatives from the Glasgow Central Mosque and You Care Foundation are in Pakistan and they have spent a lot of time helping the victims of flood. And our representative from the Glasgow Central Mosque, they have disputed with the support of army officers 10,000 food parcels and kitchen utensils. And we have managed to collect uh, with international health partners five million pounds of uh, medicine uh, which is being distributed to the people who, have, uh, who are affected uh, with the flood. So stage one was emergency aid. Stage two is to be a hugely ambitious plan to build new homes for flood victims in five different regions of Pakistan. 100 in the Neelam Valley in Azad Kashmir, 100 in Char Sada in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, 200 in Musafragar in the Punjab, and 100 each in Baluchistan and Sindh. So to an emerging miracle in the Punjab, in three weeks, 20 new homes have been built in Garibabad, now to be called Glasgow Village. We decided that we were going to build a village here. Uh, we sat down and we decided it should be called Glasgow Village uh, because there was a desperate need for houses up here because everything was demolished. You can see today that uh, in Glasgow Village uh, the construction of 20 houses is complete. Uh, the people who were, whose houses were washed away. Here before your eyes, concrete evidence that pounds raised in Glasgow can make a huge difference in Pakistan money well spent. The three-week miracle involved the mosque and you care linking with the Punjab Rangers, a division of the army. And I'm proud that we can hand these over to the local people, the deserving people. Uh, I, I think they will be very proud to, to be owner of these. Each two-room house has cost around 150,000 rupees or just over 1,100 pounds. Mohammed Aslam, who's raised money for UK in the east of Scotland, was impressed with the all-mod cons, the new beds and bedding. Beyond the houses, there's the primary school, where there were two classrooms, now there are five. Back to school, with new satchels, new books, new pens, new pencils and new uniforms. The British uh, Scots and British Pakistans have done a wonderful job. Uh, I full commendation to uh, former MP Chaudhry Muhammad Sarwar and all his uh, team members. Uh, I think they have run. They have done uh, a great service uh, to the suffering humanity. That was the Chief Minister of the Punjab, Shabazz Sharif. Then came the key ceremony. The Latif family were the first to get the keys to a new house. When I asked Mohammed Latif what he thought. He burst into a local folk song to express his joy. And what my message to our donors and our friends in, in, in Scotland is that they should uh, help to build more homes for the people who have lost everything in life. Until today, UKIR and the Central Mosque have raised around half a million pounds. That will pay for 600 new houses. If we raise a million pounds, 1,000 new homes can be guaranteed. We need your money now. Call 0300 111 4242 or go to the website www.ukarefoundation.org. Yeah.